Hitler. I'm a talking dog. Deal with it. Boo! That's what Adolf wanted to hear during World War II. It's all coming up on this edition of Veer Things TV. I'm Justin Robert Young, editor of WeirdThings.com, and this is going to be a story about Nazis and dogs, but it didn't start like that, no. In pre-Nazi Germany, there was a horse, you see? His name was Clever Hans. How was Hans clever? He could solve math problems, that's what. They'd come to his barn and they'd be like, Hey there, talking horse! What's the square root of 42? The horse would, would sit there and just go like, would clomp his feet and solve the problem. Except for the fact that Clever Hans was a fraud. It's just his owner, he was cueing him how to do stuff. So meanwhile, the owner's like, I really can't do math. When, when the Nazis came to power, they had this real big fascination with exploring the extra dimension of animals. That maybe animals could solve math problems, and maybe animals could do things like talk or bring messages from one to another. What's that, Ralph? Adolf fell into a bunker. We need to get him out! I can do that funnier. So the Nazis invested a lot of money in initial experiments and eventually a school to teach dogs how to talk, how to mimic human voice, and how to communicate. It was Hitler's Hotel for Dogs. I'm Joe American. I'm gonna come kill a Nazi. Then meanwhile, they're like, hey, Rolf the dog, go around the corner. Rolf the dog would go around the corner and go, hi, I am a Nazi soldier. I hope you don't find me, American. Hey, <laughs> hey. Oh, nothing to see here, just a schnauzer. That would be a pretty dumb plan. It should come as no surprise that after World War II ended, they didn't continue the program. You know, they were closing it down and, and Dr. Dog Talker was like, What? What? Why are you closing down my work? My work? My life's work? Listen, bro, we got caught up in a lot of things here over the last couple years. I don't know if you picked up on that. It's one of many ideas that the Nazis had that the Germans thought were probably best left alone. From here on out, it's all discotheques. <laughs> That about wraps it up for this edition of Weird Things TV. If you would like to watch more Weird Things TV, jump in a lake and see if I give a rat's. If you would like to read more weird stories, it is weirdthings.com. Until next time, I'm Justin Robert Jung. Stay feared. Bianchi, Hotel, Fort Trot, 